Hello everyone, welcome back to Cowboy and the Indian. I did have some questions about my rear view mirrors on the 2019 Indian Scout 60, also known as Jolene. So I wanted to answer, uh, answer those questions. What you see in front of you would be the Mr. Lucky rear view mirrors available on Amazon. Uh, one thing you do need, need to be aware of if this is uh, the route you decide to go, they only come one to a package, so you'd have to buy two. They do, do not come in a pair. I do. I no longer have these on my motorcycle. I'll show you what I have now. I actually went back to the stock mirrors, just uh, relocated them to a, a cooler look. No one likes the Mickey Mouse ears on the, the factory Indian Scouts. I mean, it's just fact. I have not met one person who says, you know what, those look cool. Most people don't like them. I didn't like them, so that's why I changed them to the Mr. Lucky mirrors. And I did love these mirrors. Um, the only thing that you'll really notice about them is you're going to lose a lot of visibility. They mount underneath, but you do lose a lot of visibility. Very cool looking. So if uh, that's something you're worried about, might not be the rear view mirrors for you. Now, I have changed them back. But put my stock mirrors back on, and I'll show you what they look like here in just a few seconds. But if you decide to go this route, this is what I do. Probably overkill. But let's see if I can get this in view in the view right here. Now it looks like a mess, I know, but this bracket goes right here, and it clamps onto the handlebar. Let's see if I can get that clamps onto the handlebar. So what I've done here, and again, probably overkill but just the way I do things. You see here, foam pads. Now this is not what I use, but it comes in a package like this. Uh, the only difference is these will be cork. So what I do, and you can get these at Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever, I take those out and I cut them up. Now as you can see here, I've got three, one, two, three. And I cut them up and they have a, an adhesive on the back of them. And basically what they're for originally is like to put on the bottom of coasters or lamps or something just to protect the surface you have them on. So I cut them up into rectangles and I put them on there. I usually use just a dab of super glue to put them on. And then, this is probably where the overkill, overkill comes in. See these right here? Those are cut up pieces of rubber bands. Now, for whatever reason, I decided that, well, the cork's gonna add a little protection from the handlebars, because what if I didn't want them on there? You know, what if I got tired of them? I take them off and the handlebars all scratched up and messed up, so I wanted to help prevent that as much as possible. So I put these pieces of rubber band, again, super gluing them onto the cork pieces to help with the grip. Again, overkill. The rear view mirrors, they were not gonna go anywhere once you had them clamped on there tightly, uh, but that's just the way I do things. So I did that on both ends, on both parts of the bracket, as you can see here. I put them on there and I had no issues at all with them staying on, on the handlebars. Now that being said, as you can see, these are no longer on my motorcycle. So now we're gonna go to what we have now. Again, back to the Indian Scout factory review mirrors, but in a different location. So let's take a look at that. This is what my mirrors look like now. Now there is a video out there where I first saw these, and I'll try to link that, try to find it and link it back to, uh, uh, to that gentleman and his channel. And he mentions these brackets. I'll leave an Amazon link to these brackets so you too can try them out if you wish. Very cheap, I think they're like $10 a piece or something like that, but very affordable. So if you go in here, normally coming out of the uh, factory stock mirrors are gonna be up here, mounted up here. Again, the, the Mickey Mouse ears. But with these brackets, you can mount them and make sure now it's probably not gonna work with the stock handlebars. I do have mini apes on my Indian Scout 60. With these standard 
handlebars that come on the Scout 60 and the Scout and Bobber, not probably not going to work. So you'd need the Mini Apes. But here's the bracket. It's uh, from a company HTTM, I think. Again, I'm not real sure on that, but I'll put the, the link in the description. Now, one thing you need to be aware of with these, I actually bought two pair. And it's a good thing because on this side, when I was tightening, I like to over tighten it. I did the same thing on these brackets. I put the cork and the uh, pieces of rubber band on these. I cranked it too hard and it split. Now these brackets, as far as sturdiness and you know, good old American steel, not very good, to be honest with you. You gotta be careful on how hard you tighten them. Now I've had these on for a couple weeks, no problems at all. Just you gotta be careful of how hard you or how tight you do get those brackets. But as you can see, just a different look for the motorcycle. Now I plan on going to the matte black. You can get the matte black to kind of fill out the matte black look of, of Jolene here. Because I'm not a big fan of chrome. A little bit's okay. But I think with this motorcycle and the way it's configured and you can see it just kind of stands out a little bit. So if I get those in matte black, you know, I think that's going to help out the look even more. So there you go. That's where I'm at now. Went back to the stock mirrors, just different location, and I love them. More visibility than the Mr. Luckies. And yeah, obviously with them being bigger rear view mirrors, you're going to have that. I, I'm in love with them. I really do like them. So like I said, I plan on going to the matte black and that uh, should really make this thing look awesome. It already does, but just give it that extra pop. Again, I'll put all the links in the description so you can check them out yourself. And I'll try to find that video of the, uh, the gentleman who first put this up. Uh, I was like, ah, I need those. I need those right away. Just for those of you that like that bar end mirror type of look, I think it's just a, a better look. Opinions will vary. So there you go. From the stock to the Mr. Lucky rearview mirrors, back to the stock. This is Cowboy and the Indian. She's Jolene, and I'm the Nougat Cowboy.